So here's the thing. A lot of us know this, that physically we need water. We must have water. Water is a source of life. We know that most of our body is made up of water. We know that civilizations are, are created around bodies of water, around streams of water, around rivers, so that they can develop and cultivate the land and grow the crops so the animals can eat the crops so they can eat the animals. And we need to develop this environment with water. It's the nutrients. It's the uh, backbone, if you will, of life. We understand that we need water as athletes in order to stay hydrated and have these fluids in us so that we will prevent injury and cramps that are caused by dehydration. We understand this, but we fail to understand a lot of us that more importantly and more necessarily, we need water spiritually. We need water that Jesus provides, water that he says that he's able to give us and it will never run dry. The water, he's, he tells the woman at the well that if you would ask me for this water, I would be able to give you this water and you would be filled and satisfied, never to thirst again. If you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you will be filled, the Bible says. So a lot of us are hydrated physically, but dehydrated spiritually. Therefore, we are not effective in the spirit. We're not able to function. We're catching cramps. We're injured. And we're not able to be an asset to the kingdom of God, but instead a liability because we're not partaking of this water that Jesus provides us. And if you're a believer in Christ, you have access to this water. If you repent, repented of your sins, place your faith in Jesus Christ, you have access to this water that he gives you that wells up to eternal life. And the Bible also says that if we meditate on the word day and night, we will have access to streams of water. We'll be like a tree planted by the streams of water that yield its fruit in season, that his, whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do will prosper, not if, not not might, not is a, a little chance, but it says whatever you do will prosper, that you will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, abundance of water, flowing water, constant water. This water that Jesus gives us is living. It springs up to eternal life. A lot of us are dehydrated spiritually. We think that we're partaking in some good, good drink spiritually, but we're really drinking. We're, we're partaking with in alcohol. We're drinking alcohol spiritually. It gives us a little short high, but dehydrates us afterwards, right? Leaves us dead inside, right? Leaves us broken, leaves us unaffected, laid out, not able to fight the battles that we need to fight in the spirit that the enemy throws at us. At us. We know that our battle is not against flesh and blood. And so we are, are, are hydrating ourselves physically, but not spiritually. And it's like this passage that talks about we are planted by the streams of water as a tree and we meditate on the word day and night. Before that, it says that blessed are those who do not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord. They will be like a tree planted by the streams of water whose whose leaf does not wither. that yield their fruit in season. Whatever they do prospers. So there's a two two different things here, two different sides. There's an environment that you're that you're in and you're around the sinners, you're around mockers, you're around people that, that are, don't love God, that, that are not aware of him, that are not fearing him, that are not in awe of him, do not respect him, revere him, right? That are living contrary, that are antichrist. You're in an environment that is not cultivating and developing you as a believer in Christ. But then the second one is when you meditate on the word of God is able to show you and put you in place you in, in environments that are able to give you streams of water or provide you with this nutrient source of water that is able to grow you and develop us as believers in Christ, develop us as beautiful trees that produce fruit for the kingdom of God, produce fruit that people can be blessed by. They can bless our lives, right? And bless other people's lives and bless the kingdom of God. And so the word of God is able to plant us by streams of water and change our environment so that we can have an abundant of resources so that we can produce fruit versus we are not partaking in the word of God. We have not placed our trust and faith in Jesus. We're in different environments. We're drinking out alcohol and it's good for a moment, but in the back end, it hurts. It stains. It, ain't, it don't feel good, right? It, it's consequences, right? It's damage. It, it, it damages your life and it damages the people's lives around you. That alcohol, you think you in an abundance in springs of water, right? You think you at, at, at the at the 
at, at the river, but you you really you really just sucking up alcohol, bro. So I pray that we understand that physically, yes, we need to hydrate, but more importantly, that we spiritually need to hydrate and hydrate with this living water that Jesus has given us as children of God and that we're able to plant ourselves like a tree by the streams of water through reading of the word, renewing our mind, not conforming to the pattern of the world, but conforming to the pattern of Christ so that we can be filled, satisfied, constantly overflowing so that we can develop ourselves, win over the battles of the enemy in the spirit, be filled and grow strong trees, good fruit, and be prosperous in what we